we're salvaging fish from these disconnected ponds and we'll relocate them back into Atapu Creek. Well, logging historically created clear cuts. So when all the trees were wiped away from the watershed, there was no soil or roots to hold all of the material. In the past, there was deeper, narrow channels, and now they're filling up with sediment and causing all the flows to go subsurface. So there's just really isn't any habitat available for the fish to use. It's normal for water flows to dry up in the summertime, but more and more frequently we're seeing droughts and less water, and it basically causes these little pools to heat up and cause lower dissolved oxygen in them. So it's just a harsher climate for fish to survive in. Fish salvage is salvaging fish from isolated pockets on the river and moving them from those isolated pools. We're using nets and traps and pole stains and then moving them to the main stem of the river. In larger pools, we can set these traps and uh, bait them with some treated rope. And then uh, the fish will go into the trap. You're hurting the fish? Yeah. Oh, look, 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 look. Where did you learn to dance like that? Uh, my ancestors. <laughs> <laughs> fish salvage is really important because it's the last ditch effort to save a fish's life. And in some of the other work that we do, we do in-stream restoration and riparian, but that's really long-term. This is just like the quickest way to save a fish before it goes to the ocean. We're just trying to give it the best chance we can in surviving.